What's up, Razman? How are you doing? I know it's been a week since you've seen me, and that was not intentional. The Indian Enterprises job started, and it's actually just been a lot more of an undertaking than I originally anticipated it being, just because, you know, you're starting out and you're getting your feet wet type of a thing. But hopefully we'll be able to do some things semi-regularly again. But since I know I won't be making a video tomorrow, I want to let you know that part of what I did for the job, and also to tie in with the radio show, was to sit down with Mark, my CEO, EO again, and we touted the brand new Dragon Naturally Speaking 12. So that will be tomorrow, this Friday night's radio show. So check that out if you're so inclined. I hope you will. I don't think you'll be disappointed by it. Sorry about that. I, I tried to keep the headset wire from dragging the floor, but whenever I do that, it like pulls on it and it was pulling my ear, which wasn't good. So I just let it hit the floor. But anyway, before one last thing before I get started, I want to tell you all that I actually have a surprise for the next episode. So there will be a complete, total surprise. And it's not the fact that my room back here behind me is starting to come back together. We're starting to pull stuff out of storage. That's not it. So, yeah, big surprise coming in the next video. And then we will finally be able to get the dollhouse back vlog done after that. But, yeah, obviously by now you guys have figured out what this is. This is the package the prize package from Chill Pilgrim 1138. So what I'm going to do is cut to the titles because I have some explaining to do about the first item that he sent me and then I will read his notes and then get into the second item. So hopefully you guys haven't cheated by now and looked down at the train and seen what one of the items is because it will spoil my fun. But as always, there's a creative giveaway in the title. So, the prize package from Chill Pilgrim 1138. Today, on the Razman's Reality. The greatest, most treasured show of my lifetime. I talked about it. It's the first show I ever collected on VHS videotape. Prize number one from Chill Pilgrim 1138 is Star Trek The Next Generation Season 1 on Blu-ray. I am so freaking giddy about this. I can't even tell you. Just got in a private message and I said, look, man, seventh place, I know that there's no way in the world it's going to win me Star Trek The Next Generation, but to be honest, it's the thing that I want on my wish list right now more than anything in the world, as you know from my contest entry video, is there any way that we can work out some kind of a deal for you to send it to me? And the main reason that I asked him to do that was not just because of my love for the show, but because I have big plans for the review of the show. It's going to be my first ever full video review series with a fellow YouTuber. I'm not going to spoil who it is because I want it to be a surprise, but it's going to be my first ever huge video crossover event other than the interview I did with our Shadow 87 a while back. So, because of those two factors, and because Scott is now the only person in the world who knows who the person is, he was willing to make this happen for me. And what I did 
in order to make it happen was that I forfeited my prize and my prize would have gone to alternate winner number one which I don't believe that winner has actually contacted Scott yet so I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that but whatever prize would have been left over I forfeited it and we worked out this deal and the other part of the deal beyond my forfeit of the prize was that he is going to be appearing on the Razman's Reality radio show in September. I am not like extorting appearances on the radio show now or anything. I was going to ask him to be a guest in the future anyway, but he just considered it part of the deal, so I wanted to mention it here. So, now that you guys know what is going on, I'll flip over and show you the back of the slip cover, and then I'm not going to bother taking the Blu-ray out because the artwork is exactly the same underneath and really the only thing you need to see because these are Paramount discs. Everybody knows what Paramount discs look like. They're plain Jane. So the only thing you really need to see is you need to see the artwork on the inside. So what I'm going to do for that is actually cut to my good friend Robbie Webster's unboxing video of it. I downloaded his video and I'm going to use a clip from it because I know he won't care. Because last time I tried to pull out artwork without touching the disc and a multiple disc set like this, I accidentally crinkled it. And that set was actually Dollhouse. I was trying to clean some dust off Dollhouse Season 2 and ended up crinkling the artwork. So now I have this phobia about pulling out artwork because I never want to crinkle it ever in my life. So rather than me risk that, I'm going to show Robbie Webster's clip where he shows the artwork. So hope you don't mind, man. I know you won't because you're friends with both myself and Scott and you get to work yourself in to this video. But yeah, there's the beautiful front with a slipcase on and here's the back with a slipcase. And Oh, and real quickly before I cut to Robbie, I just accidentally forgot something. I wanted to mention the fact that I do want to get Star Trek the original series on Blu-ray. I've wanted that forever. But this show the Next Generation was my first love and what introduced me to the Star Trek world. So if I'm going to start one collection right now in my current situation where I'm not able to get everything that I want at the moment, this is definitely the right place to start. So here's the inside artwork and then I'll read the note from Scott. Oh, so that you guys can see it, I don't want to take out all six discs. But there's some really nice artwork on the inside. Very cool. Has all the episode lists here. Talks about the special features down there. The special features I think are pretty much the same as were on, as what was on the uh, DVD release. Let's look. Very cool. Raz, per our agreement, I have forfeited your prize selection. No clue as to what it was. Number two winner has not got back to me, but I suspect it would have been Firefly to alternate winner number one. Ah, oh, that actually kind of sucks because that was my third highest thing on the list beyond the Jack movie lot. I've been wanting Firefly on Blu-ray for ages. I never got around to getting the DVD set and I really do want that show and Scott please don't think that I'm asking you to send it to me again. You've done more than enough. It's just that it would have been if it wasn't for Star Trek, I would have loved to have that set. So yeah, definitely something I'll pick up in the future. Since I love your channel, specifically the Razman's Reality Radio Show, book me please. 
Kawhi, as I already mentioned, he knows that he's booked in September. I have agreed to your request and will send you Star Trek The Next Generation Season 1 and a bonus, which I was not expecting. That was completely nice of you, Scott, to do that. I greatly appreciate it very much. It's always nice when you think you know what a package is and then you get a surprise in it. If you already have the bonus, now you have two of them. Enjoy them. Scott, Chill Pilgrim 1138. Okay, so before I show what the bonus is, I want to explain why there's no real shock and awe and surprise involved in it. It's just because of the nature of the priority mailbox that was sent with the package. It was just so massive and Scott wrapped it up in Blu-rays, or excuse me, bubble wrap, got Blu-ray on the brain because of TNG, but he wrapped it in bubble wrap so well that the person who helped me unbox everything had no choice but to actually just pull everything off. There was no way to hide anything. So I sincerely apologize to you, Scott, for you not getting a shock and awe surprise about this, but I'm very appreciative, and I actually don't have it. And of course, you pay attention to my channel because it falls perfectly in with both of my loves. It's a film related to wrestling. And for those of you that got the clue in the title, you can anticipate what it is. Of course, I am talking about No Holds Barred, brother. <laughs> this is awesome. One of the campiest films ever made. Something that really, truly pokes fun at the wrestling world, but was always one of my favorites. And I always wanted them to put this out on DVD. No idea why they chose not to put it out on Blu-ray, because WWE puts everything out on Blu-ray now, but I'm assuming that the it actually might not have been made on film. I have to look it up. If I'm able to find it in this actual video, I put it in overlay right now. If I'm not, I will do some research on it when I get to the review. It'll be in there. But yeah, I'm really excited to see this again. I haven't seen it since I was about 10 years old when my VHS stopped working. So yeah, this is great stuff. Thank you so much, Scott, for everything. As always, if any of you, for any strange reason, have not to subscribe to Scott, please do so. He deserves so much more than 200 subscribers. And Scott, you went so above and beyond with 200 subs, I can't imagine what you're going to do if you reach like a 5,000 mark. My goodness. It's going to be insane. Oh, what am I doing? I'm getting ahead of myself. You guys will want to see the back of this and the disc probably. So, actually you don't need to see the disc because it's the exact same artwork as the case, but I'll show you the back. There's the back. Very funny picture of Hulk. Thanks again, Scott. Please do everything I just said, and I will see you all within the next few days. This is Reality According to the Razman, and Razman style is not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.